Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Jeremy. Welcome to Polyphonic Press. Uh, today I'm going to be reviewing the new album by John Mayer. The album is called Born and Raised. Now this is John Mayer's fifth album, and it's a little more sophisticated, a little more grown up, and it's produced by Don Waz, who is a legendary producer in his own right. The album opens with a song called Queens of California, and it starts off with this laid-back sort of acoustic guitar kind of groove. It's a very laid-back kind of song, and it, it opens the record beautifully. It just, um, it's very mellow, easygoing, and it that's really the vibe of the whole record. Um, and what I really like about this song in particular, it has some really nice interplay between the slide guitar and the piano. The other thing too is the drums are sort of playing a little bit behind the beat which gives it that sort of laid back kind of vibe. The first single from the album is a song called Shadow Days and it's really a safe uh, way to put the single out because it's more like a typical John Mayer kind of song. Although the lyrics are a little more sophisticated and what he's sort of doing is reflecting on his life as a younger man and sort of looking to the future. It's sort of in that uh, in-between point where you are you realize you can't really do the same things in your youth but you haven't really grown up yet but you know you need to grow up. The song is very radio friendly and I wouldn't be surprised if it does become a big hit. Uh, but what sets it apart is the the thoughtfulness of the lyrics is really different um, than anything that's on the radio these days. The title track, Born and Raised, comes in almost exactly midway through the album. Um, and one thing I noticed, it does really remind me of a Neil Young song, especially something from like uh, Harvest or After the Gold Rush, that sort of late 60s, early 70s, um, Neil Young sort of... Uh, Sort of not Neil Young and Crazy Horse, but solo Neil Young. That slow sort of beat with the drums and the harmonica and the acoustic guitar with the electric guitar. It's got a very earthy sort of um, country kind of vibe a little bit with it. It's also kind of like, uh, it's very American sounding. It's very organic American sort of roots sounding. The thing that sets it apart though is, is John Mayer's distinctive voice. He's not uh, ripping off Neil Young or anything. He's sort of paying homage to that era, that sort of um, early 70s singer-songwriter type thing. And it also doesn't hurt that he is Graham Nash and David Crosby singing backing vocals on this album. Um, it, it just, it, it, it sounds like Crosby, Stills, and Nash and Young, um, just because of those harmonies that, that Graham Nash and, and David Crosby get. Whiskey, Whiskey, Whiskey is uh, another song that's very reflective, uh, sort of looking at a mid-30s kind of point of view, looking back at your 20s kind of thing. The thing I really like about this song, though, is the organ that's swelling in the background. It's very subtle, and it comes in and out just at the right times, which is kind of hard to do. Um, but the thing is, Chuck Laval is uh, the organ player on this album, who's played with uh, the Allman Brothers and, and so many different people that uh, he's just an absolute uh, genius at what he does. He's a very underrated um, session musician, and uh, but he's a, a great uh, piano player and keyboard player, and he does he pulls it off really well. Uh, subtlety can be a very hard, tricky thing to, to pull off, but he somehow manage, manages to do it. And the album closes with another song called Born and Raised. It's uh, more or less a, a straight-ahead sort of country song with the pedal steel guitars, and um, the whole bit, everything. Um, but the thing is, it's it's not really an album closer, it's more like an epilogue, sort of an afterthought. It's a fun, um, the lyrics aren't really too serious or anything like that, it's sort of um, like they were saying, well let's just tack this on the end of the album and, and have a little fun with it. And uh, you know, you can tell that these guys really like to have a good time. They don't take themselves too seriously, although the lyrics on this album can be get pretty serious sometimes. They don't take themselves too seriously. Um, the production on this album is really well done. I honestly wouldn't expect anything less from Don Was. Um, you know, he's really top-notch at what he does. He's just uh, one of the best producers out there today. Um, although the instruments don't, it, like, it doesn't really require a lot of production. It's pretty simple, straightforward. Uh, really, they're taking on the, the model of less is more, and that's pretty much it. I really like this album a lot. I was kind of surprised by how much I liked it. Um, I think I think it's a step in the right direction for John Mayer. You know, he's had his era of big hits and, and big uh, singles and things like that, and he's kind of moved past that, and he's sort of writing more for himself and sort of concerning himself with making good records as opposed to having that hit single. Um, so I think he's in the right place uh, in his career and he's gonna have longevity because of that because he he's not 
always trying to get a hit. He's just making the best record that he can. And I really admire that. And this is his, I think this is his most authentic sounding album. Um, so for that, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. I was really surprised by how much I like this. So anyway, that's what I thought about the album. Let me know what you guys think in the comments or if the video responds. Don't forget to check out the Twitter, Facebook, Last.fm, and the website. All the links are in the description. And if you'd like to suggest an album for, for me to review, uh, please leave that in the comments. And I'll see you next time. Take care.